We had a firefighter that lost several family members down in Alabama due to the tornadoes. We called our troops together and some wanted to go to Alabama, like all firemen do, jump right in and help. And some of the other ones, well, we can't get off work, but we can, we can put an effort together and, and get water, food, clothing, whatever necessities were needed down in Alabama. The support from the community was overwhelming. We ended up collecting three full semi-loads and shipping down there. And I took it upon myself to contact the people in Alabama and, and the emergency government down there and, and find out where we could go to help out. This was a Sunday night, and by Tuesday we were on the road. We took three trucks and trailers and everything to be self-sufficient. We had firefighters from Oliva and Strum, Galesville, and as far away as Rushford, Minnesota, join us on our trip down to Alabama. We got down to Alabama at six o'clock in the morning. When we drove in, there was power lines down across the roads, roofs of houses laying in the roads and in the fields. They saw our trucks roll in and they were, who are these people? You know, they hadn't, they hadn't had any help yet. They didn't really know quite what to think of us Northern boys, but we said, we're here to work, put us to work. And, and they took that to heart and they got us out in the areas that needed attention. We brought trailers full of chainsaws and plastic and staples and stuff, everything to do to try to reconstruct what we could and save what we could from the tornado. We've been through this a little bit in our own area and done some other work uh, in other areas like this, so we kind of knew what we were getting into and it was pretty much just what we expected, only total devastation. I had been through floods and some tornadoes before. I've seen destruction, nothing to this magnitude. It was 125 miles long and two miles wide. It was unbelievable. Whatever we could do is what we did. Debris removal, patched roofs, made the dwellings so they were habitable. Just hand tools, strong backs, cleaning up, uh, saving people's supplies, trying to cover roofs. I think we ended up helping like 18 different families through the two days that we were down there. There's a picture in our file of Harold Smith and his wife sitting in front of a pup tent in two chairs and their house is completely gone. We come up and asked him if we could help him and, and he said, uh, well, do what you think is right, you know, because I'm really not sure what we could should do. So I assigned the guys three different crews, three different areas, and they started working and, and he picked up the telephone and he called somebody and I couldn't figure out who it was. And Harold's talking and he says, son, he says, this is dad, he says, you're not gonna believe this. He said, there's 20 firemen from up in Wisconsin here and they're just, they're going like beavers everywhere taking care of stuff. And, and then I heard him respond, he says, son, I think the war really is over. Then came Alabama and took her by the hand. Well, I think anybody that's a volunteer fireman is committed to their community or their neighbor, so to speak. And um, what we did in this event, we stretched our neighborhood a little bit. I think that's what volunteer firemen, first responders, EMS people are all about. That's why we do what we do, not for the money, but so you can help and make a difference. They are very thankful for the help of the American Red Cross through the years. We see them down there, I've seen them at the floods in Minnesota when we were down there, and the Red Cross was there for, for us, feeding us, pointing us in the right directions, uh, and we were very familiar with them and, and work well with them. The award for their efforts came as a surprise. Oh, we're pretty, pretty proud, pretty surprised. Um, we didn't do it for an award. It's just something that our guys want to do. We, we can get 20 guys together in a snap of a finger and to go help people. It's just the way people are here in Wisconsin. We did it because we care.